we are able to meet our direct consumers in a way and manner they deserve. I think that um, people who consume football deserve to know at the speed all the happenings. I think that uh, any FA over the world would always have to work towards reaching out to every key stakeholder in the industry. So when it is that we established a fully functional tanker directorate, sorry, communications department, I was very positive about the outlook, eventually how it will, it will be. So you realize that uh, in terms of communications, the FA has been up to speed. Um, we are very much present on all social media platforms, which is very, very positive. Um, the FA official website, which is the official online representation of our football association, has been up to speed with information. Um, they've created some amazing products, including but not limited to GFN News, uh, which also feed in media and all, all partners alike. And today's uh, product is one of the many that we've been thinking about. Um, the GFA app offers opportunities to people to, on the go, uh, get to know all the happenings around, around the Football Association, get to watch live games, get to watch events live on the go, everywhere you may be in the world. So if you are in England, you are in the Timbuktu, you are in Germany, you are, you are in Down Under, right on your phones, you can get to watch live games as, as, as long as they are available. And this is what excites me most. I mean, I think there's a high usage of, of mobile phones in this country and across the world. And it's important that we also, we also make full use of that platform that we, we have. President, is there any cost involved in this? And are we looking forward to gaining profits to help football? No, first is to, is to provide the platform for people to have access to information, for us to communicate. Okay, that's the f foremost uh, reason behind this. Now, this app has not come as a, at a cost to the Football Association, uh, but we've entered into a uh, revenue sharing relationship with, with the people who have constructed it. And I think that uh, if the FA were to invest money, this would have cost us thousands and thousands of not Ghanaian cities, but, uh, but USD, okay? Uh, but we've, we've been able to achieve it in a very strategic way, and, and we are very happy about this. The first thing is that it's a good thing to start uh, the app with a Black Star call-up. What are we looking forward to tomorrow in terms of the senior national team as they uh, prepare for the tournament in Cameroon? Well, first of all, I'm looking forward to watching the, the call-ups on the app, okay? Um, I want to also be part of the excitement, um, but I'm also looking forward to a squad that has the capacity to make Ghana proud, a squad that will go out of their way to fight for honor and glory, a squad that would always remember that uh, for 40 odd years we've been struggling to win the trophy, for which reason winning the trophy will be the foremost on the agenda of each member of the team. And I believe that the, the squad who will be announced will be warriors in themselves and they would go and fight for, for, for glory for us. Well, I don't, know, I don't know how you look at it, but we have said here that the announcement of the, of the team that will represent Ghana will be exclusively on the app. Unless all of us will enter the app, then we, it, it, that should be fine. <laughs> Where is it? I mean, one, one thing that you said in Kumasi that got the was the fact that you mentioned that the Ghana Football Association is going to give chance to whoever is willing to talk for the country whoever is willing to fight for Ghana. Uh, the issue about Mohamed Salisi, uh, the FA has done well. I mean, what we are hearing is it true that uh, the FA got to him but he's not willing to play and maybe he'll be available for subsequent matches? Well, I'll not speak to this. Let's wait for the collapse. Okay. Uh, President, I you also the KGF. Yeah, yeah. Uh, want to look into the tournament itself and the fact that you are using the catch and young and something you seem to be very you mean for the grand finale? Yes. Well, I think that the two teams who have made it deserve to be there. Um, I think they have distinguished themselves over the, the course of the tournament. Um, 
and I'm super happy for, for them. Uh, it's a very proud moment for each one of them. Um, the finals present another platform for them to show their, their quality and their potential. Uh, I believe all of them will go out there to enjoy themselves and I'm calling on, on all Ghanaians to, to go to the venue to have a look and feel of the young boys, also have a look and feel of the Cardem Young Referee uh, products. Uh, I've always said that for our tomorrow, we need to sacrifice our today, okay? And, and the investments that the FA is making in these young kids will eventually pay off one day tomorrow. So I wish them well, I wish the referees well, and uh, I pray that all of you as media persons will support these young kids uh, on their journey. President, briefly then, because uh, Division One Congress is tomorrow. Uh, what's your message to them? What are you expecting? Because 48 teams in there. What is Division One Congress? The FA has not called any Congress. Thank you.